Hello, for this a uh, very quick capture on my uh, play around with uh, Zebix. So in this video, I have in uh, sent I have two uh, virtual machine at the moment run on um, um, VMware, and another one Zebix I put on uh, VirtualBox. Okay. And then, uh, of course, you, you play around how to connect in uh, the virtual box here and on the machine, of course, you can ping this order before you do anything. And the last bit that I use uh, another, uh, what is that, Huawei stuff as a virtual machine, and no, sorry, it's an emulator, a simulator, and then I use the basic router here, right? I use that basic router. Okay, to start, uh, you need to download Zebix from. Uh, I use the. What is it here? Uh, I use. What is it? The appliance, right? Appliance here somewhere. Not running. There we go. Okay, so get get down whichever version that you want uh, this one did not let me control properly there so you can download the for vmware or you can get this and then chuck it in the virtual box it's up to you okay so i do version 4 for this particular case version 4 a uh, long time what is the support okay so that what you need to install and then run them and of course put an ip address configuring whatever that you want do breach or not breach or, or do net whatever as long as on the machine you can pin each other right so that's the key and then the main point here when you install the agent okay here the agent if you want to get the centos for the agent for centos there is a couple way to do and in here i get a i get help from the net of course they really helpful on the on there so you can get the help from here somewhere there that Zebix then you can search that from the internet you can have it and then play around with this and then go in install and install the agent okay for the agent right for the agent in here you need to when you're done when you're done already you go into host here and then add add the host so for the agent, don't do anything with this, right? This is for the SNMP. You don't do SNMP. For for the window agent as well, the window, they show you how to install them. Really nice. Here yeah, for the window. Uh, well, window. It's red head. It's window. Window. They show you step by step how to do the own window. So it's not hard at all. You just play around with that and then it, it would be all right. That's a window. So when you're done, when you're done on the agent, and then just add them here. So this IP address, the host can be anything really, but normally you put the host of the window machine. So for the agent, when you put the put the IP address of the agent here, not your server, right? And then go to template. Uh, of course, put the host. Okay, so one, two, example. Do that. Make it easy for to start with. And this is the IP address of the whatever window or CentOS or whatever agent you would put it in. When you've done that, and then go to template, uh, select whichever template you do. Example, if you do window, then go to window. Um, one of the window, select window, select this button. And remember, click add, all right? Click add here, and then done, right? Then now I have another another uh, what is that simulator? If you want to do simulator in this scenario, I have a uh, what is that? Uh, let me go in and then I display. What do I display? Uh, display SNMP. And then uh, I'll go for just show me what I want to see. No, that's wrong. Uh, show the current configuration. Current configuration and then get me a SN, SNMP uh, include include so that's what I have right so in my simulator in simulator I do a community is right 
and that my community name and then I disable I disable the version 3 for my example I do version 2 only and then the, the, the heavy bit is here that's what you need to do so make sure that um, this one you can add the main top the main slowly and the question mark and that will show you what you what you need to do next and then put the IP address of the server and param put a secure name and make sure put your community name down here again and then enable them so when you're done on the simulator come here do the same thing again but uh, remove that guy add this guy in and put the uh, put whatever smmp in for my case uh, example I put a e uh, let me go back to my one where was that host that's what I do right so this is my actual agent I do templates and network device or discovery discover host and then that my my SNMP agent and then you go into the template of course you need to add whatever template there and click add button and the last piece for the SNMP is the macro make sure that top exactly what it is right and then put your put your community name there and click add okay then that's very much done okay so to testing uh, to to uh, to test you can go into a what is a monitor and you play around with this you can see some of this there all right or you can just do discover or Linux or discover or you can put uh, whatever your my router there and you can put whatever interface that you want okay so that's very much uh, and the help for for set up a the main point that you may wonder this is really important here and I will show you the video at the end uh, not the video the link that what I get them get some help from make sure that you set up the cloud and this IP address here that oh, something crazy there let me just okay uh for for set up this first you need to set up which one is it in my scenario i set up the real network uh i do i set up that network here right and then i is ethernet this one this ethernet here that's ethernet there and i connect this one can be anything it's, it's available it seems to be it's only one uh, i'm not sure for that right and then uh do ethernet and then add them in and next one you would do that and then select ethernet add in and when you do map in same thing right ethernet ethernet and then in port our port there add them in two way done so that one the video is should be that the one so please go on here credit him for that you've done a pretty good job okay so that's very much done i think so you can see all the stuff that I play around here or another one that I do this one in Zabbix server so when you add when you done all the stuff and you see whether agent connecting or not you can just tap that uh, what is that SNMP syntax uh, TCP dumb port number that should be alright TCP done. There's something wrong here. Oh, my network. A command not foul. TCP done source port. Not sure why it's the command my my command not foul. TCP done. Well, let me check what it is. Sorry, I miss out the end. So thus I put an end there, right? and then it run so the, the reason i do that is make my life a lot easier so i don't sit there on zambic server and expect okay where the package sent in or not so with this way you can see that a lot of packet coming okay so when you're done all the setup you say okay i don't seem to be i see no communication between whatever the, the snmp server or zambic with the agent at all or with um, whatever the snmp agent or the sorry the agent or SNMP okay so you can play around with that so all you can try you can try whether your router is working or not 
you can try the walk there. See that? So that's my uh, I do the SNMP walk, and then do version two, my community name, and my uh, what is it? My community, my uh, router. This uh, the simulator here. That's my simulator. So example displays uh, IP interface brief. So that's uh, the IP address I have in my machine there. Okay, so you can run, you can see all the whatever packet that pick up from there. So that's for um, whatever walk, SNMP walk. So that's very much. Um, and I think most of them. So you can play around with that. So in conclusion, that when you start the Zampic server, you need to get the right version, make it in, it run properly and log in properly. And, um, and what else? ping between whatever your agent and the Zambic server or you can play around with all the testing and find out some whatever help on the internet so that's that's really this really helped me a lot this guy so this guy is, is done a pretty really good job or some other tutorial in here that has helped you to do whatever Zambic switch whatever there so VMware SNMP ping a lot of stuff that you can play with the Zambix okay so hopefully that help um for whatever that your purpose all right uh best of luck bye for now